Izzy, James here, and in a minute I'm going to be out on the patio with the old telescope and a couple of frosty beers because it's absolutely sweltering in here, but I'm going to do a quick video um, before I do that. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, uh, can I do a, a video tour of all the kit that I've got in my DJ setup? Um, also, a lot of people asking me questions as well, um, which I could only really answer in a video because I would have to show you. Um, now, uh, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get the frequently asked questions and uh, a quick tour into one 10 minute video. It may run over slightly so I might end up doing two videos but one of them is only going to be a couple of minutes probably. Um, so I'll quickly do that and then hopefully I can sum it all up in one video so it saves doing two videos. So um, okay then, let's get started and uh, so you have to excuse the creaky floorboards. I really want to rip them up but there you go. Right okay so um, starting with the decks. Now these, if you've watched any of my videos previously, you'll know exactly what these are. Uh, but these are the Technics SL1210 Mark IIs. And uh, these are brilliant turntables. Now, slightly modded. I've got um, LED target lights on here. Um, a lot brighter than the original units and they draw far less current. And also, um, I've got high quality shielded instrument cable on here and gold plated connectors. So I finally changed the audio cables for decent ones on these ones. Um, but that's about it. That's pretty much as far as I'm going to go in terms of modding these things. I don't want to go like ultra modding and end up, you know, uh, painting the faceplate or anything like that. I want to try and keep these things original. I don't really want to go doing things like that. So um, I've got another pair of 1200s in the loft, which are one of them completely knackered. And the other one is repairable. So I might try and repair it and I might mod that one up and make use of that extra phono channel I've got. And maybe extend the desk down a bit and have a third deck. But um, for now I'm going to keep these ones original. Um, but yeah, like I say, excellent decks and uh, strongly recommend them to anyone. If you're after a decent pair of turntables which are going to last, these things are what you need. Right, um, now the mixer, I've literally only just got, well I've had this just over a week now. Um, it's the DJ, sorry, the Behringer DJX750. And uh, despite what some people have said, it's actually really good. I've, I've found it to be really good. Um, there's a few Behringer haters out there, which, uh, sorry if you're one of them, I'm not trying to offend you, but seriously man get over yourself and that's me banging on the deck which is why the level meter is going up and down um, now the only one thing I will say about this is the level meter it, uh, level meter the uh, beat counter is a little bit temperamental in the sense that it doesn't work whatsoever with drum and bass or anything it works fine with house and things that have got a solid 4-4 but with drum and bass, electro, dubstep, anything like that, it's useless basically. Um, but it's great for tapping if you want to get an echo effect set up or whatever and you want to tap the BPM, it's great for that. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so that's the mixer. Um, again, it's the Behringer DJX 750. Cool mixer. Uh, now this is, um, a lot of people actually ask what this is. They said, is it one of those uh, like Denon... Uh, MIDI controller things, or I think someone even said, is it, um, um, oh, is it American Audio SD1? So I, no, it's uh, a SoundLab CDJ600, and this thing is like old. I mean, it is old. I've had this for I don't know how long, how many years I've had this, uh, but it's battered up, it's beat up, it's bruised. I've had it out on gigs, I've had it on community projects, it's been handled by teenagers. It's still working though, and it's still perfect, and as long as it does work, I will continue to use it, because this thing's great. No MP3 or anything special like that, literally just CD mixing. It's all you can do with it. But it's great if you just want another music source to mix from, or maybe you've got some old CDs, slap them on. So, um, yeah, so it's the SoundLab CDJ600, okay? Now, if this thing ever does break, which I hope it doesn't, because it's really good, but if it ever does, I'm, um, I mean, I've got to make use of this little 19-inch rack thing, so I may get myself like a little American Audio SD one. I think they're quite cheap now, so or something like that, some kind of MIDI controller or something. Um, but yeah, for now, while this thing's working, I'm going to continue to use it. 
Right, okay, uh, the speakers. Now, a lot of people asking what these are. Um, these are actually uh, Technics SBDV280s, and uh, they're really good speakers. They're about 200 watts each. There's one there and one down there behind that drum pad symbol thing. Um, Freeway speakers, got the uh, top, mid, and low. And uh, if you can read that on there, it just says Super Woofer Speaker System. And I tell you what, they are not kidding. These things are like unreal when it comes to bass. They are ridiculously bassy. Let me just uh, crank the bass up on this and I'll show you. Listen to this. <laughs> ridiculous bass but these speakers have got something which uh, a lot of speakers I know don't have um, the mid-range and the tweeter is actually encased in a separate airtight enclosure to the sub now that's really good because the sub is obviously pumping a lot of bass and as it's moving backwards and forwards a lot and half of this chamber inside here is going to be filled with air being compressed by this sub and what happens is it can interfere with the mid and top so these things are going to start vibrating just under the pressure of this so because these things are in a completely sealed unit the bass is not going to interfere so you can pump shitloads of bass through these things and they still remain clear and they don't muffle or distort or anything like that so these things are really wicked I recommend them to anyone who just wants a decent pair of hi-fi speakers that you can pump shitloads of bass through and they still sound good but they're really good for monitors um, have these things at ear level I tell you what they're so clear they're absolutely fantastic so very good purchase these are uh, again the Technics SBDV 280s uh, yeah I think they're about 200 watts each okay um, now another thing people have been asking me this is probably one of the most discussed things about my um, DJ setup a lot of people asking me why have you got a random Xbox 360 sitting with your DJ setup now the reason being is because this is not your average normal Xbox 360 um, I will probably do this in another video nah sorry I'll do it now bear with me hold on okay sorry about that to quickly plug a cable in right okay so all we do is press this button here and you can see the green power light and a red light there now this again like I say is what I've been running uh, virtual DJ on for a while and uh, it's been really good but I've kind of it started lacking a bit of performance um, and what's going on here oh dickhead turn the monitor on Durr. perhaps we might actually get something there we go. So um, again, I'm running Windows XP on here. Uh, as you can see there, it's uh, loading up. And I use the original, well, one of the original uh, red LEDs for the hard drive activity LED. Now, just to prove that this is the real deal and there's nothing dodgy going on here, I'm just going to quickly unplug the VGA cable. So I've unplugged that, as you can see. We've lost the signal. And we plug this back in again. And the signal returns there we go um, so there you go just uh, thought I'd quickly show you that now a lot of people have been asking about this the original USB ports on the front still work as well so I've wired them up um, so it's pretty cool it's just like I say it's running Windows XP and the performance is kind of limited really um, so instead I got this um, I built myself this new computer um, I won't go over the full specs in this video because there's probably too many to mention but the basic specs are it's um, it's got an Asus uh, M2N68CM Pro motherboard uh, it's got an AMD Athlon 64 5000 plus dual core processor and 2 gigs of DDR2 dual channel memory so pretty good, it's not the best but uh, it's unbelievably stable which is what I want more than power to be honest I mean it's only for DJing so stability is probably what I'm going to be looking for really um, I have nicked the front bezel panel off of an original HP compact machine and I've nicked the card reader as well but <laughs> I just I couldn't be asked to buy a card reader and I had a shitty old OEM case laying around so I took it out works pretty well it's all good um, yeah, uh, again, I'll put the full specs of this in the description just in case you're interested. 